like today I did, uh, you know, the talks, their, their Instagram show. And really it was the first day I called my hair person who does the talk. Cause I can, I can fudge makeup, but not hair. And I called her up and I said, Hey, Lori, Lori Fenton. She's phenomenal, talented. Oh my gosh. She's done a million shows, but very lucky to have her. And I called her up and I said, how's it look? And she goes, you're right. You really can't do hair. Can you? <laughs> Hi, Marie. How are you doing? I'm really good. How are you doing? You look very yeah. spiffed up. Oh, well, it's Marie Osmond. We're not going to give you the <laughs> low brow at home quarantine look. I'm trying to give you my Marie Osmond. Brow. I just want to know, <laughs> do you have roots or did you paint them? You know, I'm lucky. I don't. I'm so oh my. Yeah, so you know, and I did it until just the last couple of years, and I all of a sudden I'm like my mom. I have like a silver streak right there. So, I mean, let's just jump right into it. How are you handling the lack of beauty appointments and things that we as women <laughs> typically rely on? How are you managing? You just have to laugh about it. Do you know? Um, I I was talking today. We so we do this uh, fun live chat. I'm going to show you, uh, but we do this, sorry. Anyway, we do this really fun thing on the talk CBS where we go on Instagram and we do a live chat, go to our, go to the Instagram. But we were talking today, I was talking to Carrie Ann, how people will try to say that the ladies at the talk, you know, we fight among each other and things like, and it's so not true. Uh, there's this awesome text that we, this line that we send each other all the time. And it was so sweet. Sharon was like, I miss you ladies. And, Everybody said, no, I miss you too. And so I thought I'd send him some little memes. This one says, how we're all going to look now that we have to cut our own hair. Can you see that? Oh, wow. Uh, that, is, <laughs> that, hair, that hairstyle and I is especially, This is from washing your hands too much and doing your own nails. Oh, oh wait. Lord. I'll be, I'll be honest. I'm going it's through so bad. And this one, I this I cracked me up. It says, it says four weeks of pandemic, Botox injections beginning to wear off. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to let you get on a secret. You ladies are some of the most beautiful inside and out people I've ever had the chance to Aww. meet, interview. Um, you could never Deidre, look- Deidre, you are. We love you. We love you. That's so <laughs> Thank you. So, in Thank in all you. actuality, I mean, are you doing anything? Like, are you doing any at-home beauty regimens, or are you dyeing your hair out of the box? Is there anything going on at home beauty related that you want to share? Uh, that would be a no. I don't think I've ever slept so much. I don't remember sleeping this much. So, well, on, on this your whole life, you don't have oh time for nap. <laughs> for fifty-seven years, I've worked, and it's been incredible because. Um, you know, when they when they closed everything down at CBS uh, because of the pandemic, then I, I left there, went made sure my kids were safe that are there. I drove via to Vegas through Arizona and uh, checked my daughter there, Jessica, went to Vegas, made sure all the kids were safe. And then because my husband and I are, you know, like 29, um, we, <laughs> we decided to kind of isolate ourselves because, you know, he's diabetic and, and I have some uh, immune system issues. So we thought it would just be best to be alone. It's the first time we have been alone since like forever, ever. I had, I had eight brothers and he had uh, six siblings. And so it's like, I don't ever remember not having a million people around mm -hmm. and it's really fun. Yeah. <laughs> We've had the best time. That's what we're trying to do on the talk is we want a destination where people can have fun, where, you know, people are going through some really hard times right now. And uh, to keep people positive and have faith, uh, to strengthen each other, I think there's nothing better than serving each other and, and, you know, doing these things that you're doing, keeping people informed, there's, you know, they're at home. They want to know what people are doing and how to stay happy. Uh, you know, I, I just told a friend of mine, she goes, how did you do with all those kids and homeschooling? because we were on the road and I said, what you do is you assign an older child to a younger child oh. and that way they brush up their math skills on different subjects and you can even pay them if you want, you know, give them some motivation or whatever. <laughs> yes. But it's also time for siblings to be together and my mom did that with us. And so um, there's a lot of good tips that we can give each other and share and just, you know, have fun. So you're at home with your husband. I want to know what is it you guys are doing to sort of pass the time during these really long, long days. It's so funny because um, 
Well, the two of us, like, we're catching up on some shows that we have wanted to watch for a while. Like what? So fun, right? Yes. Like, I'm into Scorpion right now. Is it Scorpion? Scorpion? Yes. yes. Loving on, it. On CBS. Yes. I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. And um, he had seen it years ago, season one. So I'm catching up on season one. And then we're just starting season two tonight. So, oh, <laughs> so you've been um, and anything else? Uh, we do a lot of reading, uh, a lot of FaceTiming with the kids, just seeing what they're doing. Uh, my daughter, I posted on my Sunday post, just go to my, just go to my social media. But she was panicked because her daughter wasn't eating anything. She's for my little granddaughter, Rocket. And so uh, she texts me this photo back and she goes, Nutrisystem saved the day. And I know I endorse it, but my granddaughter loves their pizzas. I mean, loves them. And she's, they're really good. And she gets to put like extra tomatoes or cheese or whatever on them. And she has her freezer open and it's all Nutrisystem pizzas and ice cream sandwiches. She goes, we're set. She'll eat. <laughs> we won the lottery here. I mean, look, speaking of, speaking of Nutrisystem, are you cooking a lot? Like during your downtime, have you tried new recipes? You know, one of the things that I did on a vision board is like things that I want to do this year. One of them was learning how to cook um, diabetic treats for my husband and oh, foods. Nice. So I'm doing a lot of research into that. Uh, it's a little harder, but I posted also on my social that one of the things that I found is to take coke, a little bit of coconut oil and mix with Lily's sugar-free chocolates. And then you drizzle it over fresh raspberries. Oh my gosh, it's to die for. Oh I mean, God. it is the best dessert you can ever have. Put a little whipped cream on it if you want. <laughs> I love that. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that one. Serious. I and you can you, you diet whipped cream. You, anyway, you could just do like no calories and you don't feel like you're not having a cookie or a pie or something, you know? Sure. So good. I swear to you. Now, look, we were joking earlier that you're wearing your, I think it's pretty chic, your red sweatshirt. Looks like some nice athleisure you're wearing. Yeah. I wanted to know, have you been getting dressed every day? Or is there uh -uh. like, a, okay, so you've been living in your, in your cozy clothes? Totally. Yeah. <laughs> and no makeup. Just like today I did, uh, you know, the talks, their, their Instagram show. And really it was the first day I called my hair person who does the talk. Cause I can, I can fudge makeup, but not hair. And I called her up and I said, Hey, Lori, Lori Fenton. She's phenomenal, talented. Oh my gosh. She's done a million shows, but very lucky to have her. And I called her up and I said, how's it look? And she goes, you're right. You really can't do hair. Can you? <laughs> And I said, no. And so she walked me through this. So, I, so this is the coolest thing. She made me pin this all forward, my ponytail. And then and then she said, now you pull it over your gray. And then they can't see it. So you Marie, see look at you using look. technology to do a hair tutorial. I mean. I know. But like, look how cool that is. See, it covers, it covers your gray. And bangs are. And then that way you just cover it like that. And it's like, hi. Oh. I, I love that. And thank you for sharing that like tip from an amazing celebrity hairstylist. Like, hey, she did it. I didn't. Oh my gosh. She told I, me what to do. I know, but you actually brought it to life. I love that. But so you know, much. it's fun because you can, there's all kinds of ways you can hide things and do things. And you know, that just, that saves time and money. And right now where people can't even go and some people don't, I do know how to color my hair. I just don't have any of the coloring things here, so she's sending me some. I have to tell you that you are my family. I love you all here at the talk so much. You. you bring up the talk, and it's it's such a delight to watch you with these women every single day. Has it been Bless strange you. for you? You're in this routine, and now you guys don't see each other every day. Has that been yeah, today it was really crazy when I saw Carrie Ann. I'm like, Carrie Ann! Because we're we're all, we really do love each other. Have you guys been checking in on each other? How is everyone else doing? You know, it's so sweet. Uh, we're all missing each other. Uh, I think it's like you said, you know, I have worked since I was three years old. I have never not worked one year of my life. Mm -hmm. And um, and that's weird, you know, to not, but at the same time, you know, I've, I've been loving the time with my grandkids FaceTime and uh, my little rocket took the, um, took the dry ice from Nutrisystem and was throwing it in the pool and making witch noises. And <laughs> Were you a witch? I, I'm glad you've been getting so much good quality family time. Have you? Yeah, been, it's been lovely. Have you been FaceTiming with Sharon or with, you know, Carrie Ann? No, just mostly through the talk we do that. Because I think everybody's kind of just being private right now. I think this is the time where you kind of were decompressing. But today was so fun to see her. And then, of course, we've been on, I told you, the, the memes we send each other. And, of course. And yeah, things like that. 
Yeah. Um, you know, and I just want to congratulate you. It's been, I think, almost a year since you started on the show full time. Right. Can you just reflect on that a little bit? Is this a job that you see yourself doing for many, many years ahead? How much fun have you had with it? Do you know, it's it, the thing that's so enjoyable is that you have your weekends. But the top came at such a beautiful time. And uh, I le left Vegas after 11 years and then went right into the talk and the talk came in and watched the exit there and the entrance there to that job and it was so cathartic and and beautiful and i was so grateful to god because i don't know that i could have just stopped working do you know and um i i love having that that female energy because i've never had that this is like a true sorority where you get to be <laughs> part of this group of really powerful, smart, strong I know. Women. And, and you know, we're all at this place where you don't sit at that table and not know who you are. You better know who you are and, and not be afraid to share things if they can help people yeah. and to be honest. And, um, and it's a really good place at this time in my life because I can still do my music, but I can sit down and it's, it's really the most wonderful job I've had. All you do is you right before the show you go, oh we're gonna talk about this. What do you think? And you go out and do it. It's like crazy fun. Donnie and I have this <laughs> you guys okay it's the talk. We're gonna tell everything. Is there a goal or something or someone you want to have on or just is there one thing that you are really aiming to sink your teeth into in these next few months with your role on the talk? Like some sort of like a, a bucket list goal? Uh, I'm gonna go skydiving. They're gonna follow me doing that. Really? Have you ever yeah. done No. Uh, no, at the first of the year, we all made these goals for the year. I'm going to go skydiving. One of them was go back to school, which I have started. Um, um, I think I'm going to go into religious studies. I, I love all religions. I just think they're so connected. And, you know, I think we need to stop isolating ourselves. And it's like this, like our country, you know, we're getting, we're so angry and we isolate ourselves. Well, if you don't believe what I believe, you know what? We can all just appreciate what we all believe and share a little love out there. I cannot wait to see your expression on your face when we take the cameras with you skydiving. Oh, hey, that's what we're I doing, mean, babe. Right now, we need a lot of joy and a show that brings me a lot of joy, other than the talk, is The mass Singer. And your brother, Donnie, he <laughs> crushed it on The mass Singer. And a lot of fans have expressed an interest in you doing it. I want to know. Oh, if you no, thank you. Really? No, thank you. Why? No. why? Why? Do you know, it's interesting. I talked to, um, to Kelly Osborne uh -huh. and uh, Donnie too. And he said, you know, it was really interesting because they both kind of have these a um, little bit of panic, you know, and things like that. And you have to sit in a room isolated all by yourself. And then you get in a suit and then you sing and everybody's trying to guess. And then you take your, you take your, head off and you're like okay goodbye <laughs> and you're i don't want to go through all that and go hello goodbye <laughs> you'd, rather you'd rather just dazzle us as yourself as marie just kind of not interested in that <laughs> it just, really respected. but he said it was so it was really tough and i did dancing with the stars prior to him and i told him i said i told him everything to do and not do but um i think I mean, I love it. I think the show's great. I haven't really watched that much. I watched when he was on a few times because he was going back and forth from Vegas to that. But, uh, yeah. you know, hands off to people that do it. I think anybody who wants to, for me though, I don't think I want to be isolated if my kids needed me or, you know, somebody, I just don't know that I would do that, you know?